Merry meet everyone and of course welcome back to my big in life as always. I got a suggestion recently to do a video on so-called magical substitutions. Basically if there's something you need in your craft but you don't have it, how do you substitute it? What can you use instead of using that specific item but that still works for that specific situation? Honestly that is just such a good suggestion and I'd love to do a video of that at some point but it takes quite a lot of effort to compile a lot of suggestions so right Right now, I just want to ask you guys the following question. Magical substitutions? Suggestions? Do you have a tip that can make magical life a little bit easier for the rest of us? Or do you have any other similar kind of knowledge that you'd like to share with the world? Make sure to leave that down in the comments because I'd love to know as well. I think some of the most obvious substitutions are things like, um, like using quartz in a spell instead of any other crystal because it's like really neutral. Actually, let me find something. I finally found it, guys. I found my favorite crystal of all, uh, crystal of all time. <laughs> Crystals come in many different shapes and sizes, but this is one of the stones that I have loved for a long time. And this is definitely one of the stones that I would use for like all purpose stuff or for whatever purpose if I don't have anything else or if I don't want to use anything else basically. Quartz crystal point or is it a clear crystal quartz point. Arrest me on it if I'm wrong, but you get the picture. So that's basically the main magical substitution that I like. I also just like to use whatever herbs I have in my cupboard to, um, well, you know, basically most of the things that you already have in your home have some sort of magical property to it. You might think that you need a certain herb for a certain spell, but then there are more common herbs or different types of herbs that have the exact same magical properties and you really don't have to worry about getting that one specific herb for fire or sun energy or whatever because you already have cinnamon in your cupboard. It's kind of, you know, that's the kind of thing I live by anyway, so. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure you get the picture. Do you know of some magical substitutions? Make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And if you do want me to make more of an elaborate video in the future, I probably will because I'd like to do a video of that at some point. It's just that right now I have some other videos planned. But yeah, you get the picture. Leave your suggestions down in the comments below. And yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys have to contribute to the conversation. And with that said, guys, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, even if this was a questions video, for more content on this channel. That was it for today's video. And until next time, guys, blessed be from My Pig in Life.